beta. Yeah. How did you guys feel about it? <laughs> Let me tell you something. There was a time in Call of Duty where I would really want to go home. I mean, home from work. And just play the game. There was a time before that where I played Call of Duty on other consoles and I just wanted to play that. Call of Duty's evolved and it's evolved into well, what we got now. It's fast. It's action. It's boom, boom, bam, bam, dun, 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 kill, die, 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 kill, die. It's this way because of the fact that kids nowadays just really don't have the attention span. And maybe some of the adults don't either. It's that way to keep constant action going. And it's just downright feels like you ran a mental marathon. So Call of Duty games ain't what they used to be. And I understand that everything evolves and everything gets better. Or at least it's supposed to get better through time. It's more or less a thing of trial and error. And most of the time, Call of Duty nowadays seems to be on both sides of the good and the bad. I'm not sure, and I can't sit there and say for sure, but I could sit there and tell you that what it seems like to me is Call of Duty listens to people like streamers the most. I think it's because their core audience is people that, you know, are really bots, and they kind of look up to these guys. And you know why? Because nobody really wants to watch streamers that just don't really huh, you know have high gear gameplay as per what j god said himself right here no one wants to watch somebody struggle it's just more entertaining to watch a 40 kill game i understand i fall into the category too i'm just an average player i love to play with bots though and i'm gonna tell you why see skill-based matchmaking in the beta has been cranked up to an all-time high this is probably the highest I've ever seen in a long time. And trust me, I've been playing Call of Duty a long time. From previous games to like Modern Warfare 3, didn't have where anywhere near half as bad as I seen it in the beta. And that's just not me complaining. You see, skill-based matchmaking takes the fun out of everything and doesn't make anything any better. That doesn't include the packet loss that it has and spawn systems suck. The guns take forever to load up. I mean, face-off wasn't that bad, you know, uh, that was pretty good having no kill streaks. I thought that was pretty awesome. Time to kill, I don't I don't know if it's the packet loss time to kill or what the heck it is, but I'll tell you what, the time to kill was seemed very, very fast. It took forever to shoot any kind of streak down, pretty much virtually impossible. The Jacko didn't seem overpowered to me, but I think everybody uses the gun because it's the ease of use. It's the fact that the gun, some guns in this game are more easier to use than others. It's the fact that everybody can sit there and use it. And that's why people call it overpowered. There ain't no stats out for anything yet. So everybody just kind of use whatever they feel. And well, you know, society today, it's about what you feel. Just to level up one weapon, I think they estimated it takes about five hours. Oh my gosh, bro. The hostage fugitive thing, you know, where you or take captive and where you just kind of what do they call it, meat? That was kind of cool, but you know how Call of Duty is. They'll find some way to make it bad or sexualize it as like they already have. And although it makes for funny comms, well, we already know, well, why does everything gotta be in that way? Gay, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you do grab a score streak, they're just so freaking high. Like, why is everything pretty much double what it used to be? Are players just that good? All of a sudden the score streaks gotta be higher? Or is it that I need to jump into a bot lobby and see if the score streaks are anything, you know, better? Nah, I remember Black Ops 2 and it only took three kills to get a UAV. But now I believe it's, I don't know, I don't even know what it is now. I just know it's not three. The maps. The maps, yeah, the maps. I can't sit there and say they're bad, but I can't sit there and say they're very good. So I'm just going to give Call of Duty a one-up on that one and just give it to them. But let me tell you about this, though. You ever wondered... In a beta, how it goes from week one to week two. And sometimes you know, I think they might have finagle a day in there like they did this time, maybe a couple hours. How come they could fix something in a beta right away, but they can't fix anything in the game right away? They literally took like a week and fixed a couple things and made it, you know, somewhat better. But why is it it takes forever 
when something is completely broke. It's garbage. But let me tell you this. The Omni movement. You know, you know that can grow on me. And I think it could be a great thing to some extent within moderation. But then again, like my last video, I said that a lot of movement people or <laughs> I'm just going to call movement people. They tend to find ways to abuse things and see it's really hard to find out if someone's cheating as well when they tend to abuse things because the movement, the way it goes, it's so fast. That mixed with bot lobbies and cheats, you know what I mean? When they do actually do find a player that's actually worthy or pretty much doing the same thing, it makes things less likable. I think this game has potential. It has massive potential. You know what? I could even accept everything as it is. Except for one key feature, E-O-M-M, S-B-M-M. Those two things alone had me rage quitting more than anything in any time, any place, in any whatever you want to call it, Call of Duty I've ever been in. And it's there. It's in my live streams. By the way, I stream on YouTube, this channel right here. Hit the sub, hit the like. <laughs> but it had me rage quitting because of the fact that S-B-M-M and E-O-M-M is kicked so high that I can't understand how anybody's going to grab enjoyment from this. You know that video I just showed you about with J-God? He was talking about two boxing. And I don't know about you, but it really seems like that probably is more of the method to have fun. You see, I'm not out for high kill gameplay. I'm not out here to make myself look good, best, better. I'm out here to do one thing and one thing only. It's the same thing I've been trying to do all this time ever since day one when I picked up a controller and felt that feeling. And that feeling is to have fun again. Now some of you guys will come into the comments and call me a bot or play around and call me a bot. But I'm talking to those very few. Those few that could relate. The few that actually knew what fun was. You know what I'm talking about. That old fashioned fun that we used to have in Call of Duty. The thing that made you forget the time, the hours, what even sometimes he was supposed to go to school the next day. Now, I don't know all the specifics of how skill-based matchmaking exactly works, but I'll tell you what, experience is the best thing. I make a ton of videos on how to reverse boost, but ultimately those things are just always time consuming. If two boxing is the method the easiest to get in and makes your lobbies less sweaty and the end result is just to have fun, then I could fully understand. And that seems like, well, that seems pretty good to me. Now, I'm not sitting there saying I'm going to go buy two copies of the game. I'm just sitting there saying that, wow, I could understand why people do it. The fun factor, not all that mental aggravation and, and frustration that you have to go through or makes it feel like you just got in some kind of fight with mentally with somebody. Like, I don't know what kind of people in these movies do it, but you know what I mean. These are people that you're mind freaking with, you know what I mean? And that just didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. I feel like I'm Xavier and the X-Men and I'm over here trying to to find people and it's just mentally draining. That's Call of Duty now. And I pretty much don't like it. I'm a hardcore Call of Duty fan, but I think at this point with EOMM, SBMM, Packet Loss, all this other crap, it makes me feel like what else is there to play? Because I've been out there looking and I'm pretty sure you have too.